create a new React project using Create React App using the TypeScript template. I've named mine Storybook TypeScript. And then after that, uh, we can also right away initialize uh, the Storybook in our app. And if we go in the docs um, under developing components in isolation, the create react app docs, you'll notice they've got a little script here that we can just run right from the root of our project and running that will initialize storybook. So I've already done that. So we can do storybook. And then if we open it up, you can see we've got everything you would normally expect in a create react project. Um, in addition to a dot storybook file, as well as stories where they've given us a couple of default stories here. So um, actually what you'll also find under package JSON, and you'll notice, you'll see this straight away when you run it locally on your machine is they also tell you that they've set up a storybook script and that's how we'll run storybook. So if we run our project here and then in a new file, new terminal, we can go to code, CD storybook TypeScript. We can run our storybook here. So our app is running just all right. And then uh, at the time of release, we're using uh, React Scripts 3.4.1 uh, and the latest release of Storybook is 5.3.18. So our Storybook is running here. We've got the demo components, everything works fine. However, if we actually try and um, add in a TypeScript story at the moment, so in our source folder, I'm just gonna add one for app.tsx, stories, TSX, import React, and then we'll also import our app. Just make the title app, and the component will be app. Nice. And then finally, we'll do a named export of default for a storybook. Close function where we can just render our app. Okay, so let's run storybook again. We can confirm that this time there's still no app in here. Um, however, we can make one little switch. If we go into our main file and we swap this from JS to TSX, we go ahead and save that there and we run Yarn Storybook again. We see our app component and that's pretty much it now if we wanted to take it one step further we can see that our styles that would normally be applied in the index.css in terms of the font family and the code aren't applying um, what you can do is you can create a, a preview file preview.ts and then we can import everything the same as you would in a normal react file and that'll run before everything gets set up um, so you can read the docs about everything you can do in there, but I use ant design in my project at the moment. So this is where I import the CSS uh, for the ant design stuff. So we can do that in our preview.tss. TS. If we um, start look again. We didn't import it correctly. Let's see SS. Okay, let's try that now. So we're not uh, in the source directory like we were previously. So now when we run, we can see we get the styles uh, there as well. Um, that's it.
The last thing I will make mention is that you'll notice that I've kept the main dot, uh, the main file, a JS file. I haven't been able to successfully get it uh, to run when converting this to a TS file, but uh, I mean, there's not much that you run in here anyway, so I don't think it really matters. Thanks.